don't know when that was. That was definitely when things were going good, so this is like weeks prior. I'm I think the date is at the top of whenever we started texting that day. Looks, this is... We talk a lot. August 7th. Yeah. So, I re reference everything to Sunday the 12th. So that's the only conversation like that on there, I believe, on my phone. I don't think there's like anything else. And she even last night, like, still wasn't even, she's so worried about her dad. Other than that, there shouldn't really be anything on with other people. But you guys can just pull everything off that corner. As long as you're okay with that, that's what would be I mean, if that makes your life easier. Well, it's not just about making it easier, it's just less. So if there's any question, like I told you before, some, like the two girls you just met, did a lot of interviews in this case, they've done a lot of work. They may know things that I don't. Mm -hmm. There's no way we can all know everything. So they might go, oh, because somebody else is the one who told me about Charlotte mm -hmm. um, and this message. So I've never well, read this. that's probably why. Potentially. I'm, I'm assuming that that's yeah. what that is. Because I said his name. And I don't even think she's put two and two together. Because last night, it was just like the way she was talking. She wasn't like, this is him, this is it. She's like, I don't know what's going on. I just assume this is it, because this guy worked in a dark row, but she is not even, like, processing. What? What do you mean by, can tell he has a lot to take care of in life? What did you mean when you said that? He has a mortgage and he has kids. Okay. Responsibilities. I mean, he's a father of the house. You're even saying in here he's all about his kids. Yeah. And she was like, ask me somewhere in there, like, I mean, everything I had to say about him at that point was like really positive. Like, I think I made it clear that I wasn't like 100% sure this was like the man of my dreams and I was going to spend the rest of my life with him or anything, but I was enjoying the time that I was spending with him at that point. You're referencing that he has two kids and then <clears throat> you don't like that? because you want to have that experience with somebody else? Is that what I just thought was? I wasn't sure if he was the one that I want to be with because he had already like, done everything. Okay. Like I was like, it would be really nice to kind of like have kids and have my own marriage and all of that stuff. That was You said he's handsome, huh? Did you send her a picture? Mm -hmm. And that's not attached here. Mm -hmm. Is that because what you did from what you deleted? I think it's from when I deleted all my <laughs> photos of his stuff. He's kind of short. <laughs> 
I mean, I talked to her in a way that I wouldn't like talk to him with like my girl, you know what I'm saying? It's I get it. No, I'm just teasing, I'm just like... teasing you a little bit. <laughs> She so brought it up again last night, but she didn't brought like, up what? I mean, but she didn't like connect the dots. She was like freaking out. She was she really upset. A... She wanted me to come see her on Saturday because it's his work. So unexpected. Kind of, sort of. He had Parkinson's, so kind of, but not. You know what I'm saying? It was a very drawn out thing. Um, but she's having a really hard time with it. I knew she would. And she just like, she's like, can you meet the wake on Saturday? And I was like, I'm going to go to the house. And I didn't tell her that, but I was like, I don't know. I'm, I'll try. And I'm going to go, but I'm not going to tell her until it's like right before I have to be there. And she so what did you reference that? Just is uh, Chris the guy? I'm, I'm more interested No, she in didn't even ask me if she was just like, she's like, I don't know what's going on. She's like, oh, you can see it. <laughs> oh, okay. So oh, you mentioned my. on your text before you were coming that there was other information that you thought of that was important again? Yeah. More info? Yeah, when you get so <laughs> sidetracked. <laughs> I'll look at this when you do that, and then... I'll show you where it is. Yeah, show you where it is. I'll here, like I'll just say... You guys talk a lot. Oh, yeah. She is like, not right here. So first she sends me this, and she's not even asking me about him. She's saying he, he looks like her ex. That's when she first brings him up. She doesn't even mention me at that point. I don't even think she realizes it's the same guy. Like, legitimately. I think this girl is so wrapped up in all the stuff that she's got going on right now that I don't think it's even processing. I mean, you can just tell by the way that she, like, Talk. See, she's all upset because I asked her to mm -hmm. not talk to the media and it happened to me the day that her dad died and I'm sitting here trying to comfort her. Is this your best friend? Yes. This girl is like my whole world. But you're not talking about children or your relationship with Chris or anything like that? No, the only time I ever mentioned him was like that one day. Okay. And I didn't even remember that I even had like said that to her. What's her phone number? Um, 720-425-7330. So I'm not going to call her, but at some point you might want to talk to her. Just so you know, I mean, sooner or later she's going to connect the dots or you're going to tell her, right, if she's your best friend. I'm not going to tell her. If she figures it out, she figures it out. Okay. Um, if we were going to talk to her, I'd let you know beforehand. Is that fair? Yeah, I'm just like, I'm going to give her. And she apologized to me because she was going to be angry. She was. So tell me about was. the new info that you remember. Okay. Um. Look, man, I know you work at Anadarko. He did too. I know he murdered his wife and kids. I know he was a dog. I know you're my best friend. I know you have a good heart. I know that you guys, that guy needs to go to jail and he will. I know you don't want publicity and neither would I. I know that as a witness, if you say anything, it can cause a mistrial. I know you don't want that, neither do I. Fuck the media. I want my best friend here. I never fucking said anything. Okay. But See, look, she goes, she goes, I don't even care if you flirted with him or more. I know you had nothing to do with what happened, and I don't care if your job is having an open investigation. I'm not going to ask you a single question, but my pops died, and you're my best friend. Okay. And I said, please stop talking about that. And she said, what do you want, house arrest? And she just keeps saying, my father died, what the fuck? She was not okay last night, and I was just trying to, like, Understandable. mitigate this. Um, 
and I was like trying to calm her down. And I said, Charlotte, I'm trying so hard to be the best friend I can be right now. I said, I don't want to talk to you about that case. I didn't say that case, I said that case. Like I wasn't even affiliated with it at all. I need to respect that. What's freaking out? I'm freaking out. You guys have never had a conversation except for this past text messages about Chris and his children. No, that was it. That was it. That's fine. I mean, because he wasn't really something that I like super wanted everybody to know about. And I shouldn't have even mentioned it because she probably wished she had something going on to actually her fiance. And it, it happened. But at that point. You guys are best friends. Yeah. She keeps trying to talk about it. If you're not under investigation by the police, I don't care. Why can't you just make yourself all that stuff about it? Protection housing list then. Women sir, this is not a section eight housing authority office, okay? Y'all can do them pop-up visits, whatever y'all want, man. I got three dollars for the rent too. The witness protection program is not the same as section eight, alright? Now please step back away from the desk, sir. There you are. I don't need the food stamps. I just need the protection. Hey bro, why are you tripping? Because snitches get stitches, you 